theorem to calculate Thevenin's voltage and Thevenin's resistance for the circuit shown looking in from points A and B on the right hand side. The circuit has a power supply of 8 volts. R1 is 1 kilo ohm, R2 is 2 kilo ohms, R3 and R4 are 1.2 kilo ohms, R5 is 4.7 kilo ohms, and R6 is 4.7 kilo ohms. So to begin with, we're going to calculate Thevenin's equivalent voltage. And this is the voltage uh, that would be measured at points, across points A and B. So you can see that there's going to be no current flow through resistor R6. So it can be treated as a short circuit. So I'm just going to replace R6 with a short circuit. Now we can see that the voltage across points A and B is going to be the voltage across this parallel section. So the voltage across R3 and R4 and the voltage across R5. So I'm going to simplify then this um, parallel section into one resistor value. So to do this we use the following formula and we can call this resistance RA. And that works out to be equal to 1,589 ohms. Now, we're going to replace resistors R3, R4 and R5 with resistor RA, which has a value of 1,589 ohms. So now we can see that Thevenin's equivalent voltage is going to be the voltage across resistor RA and resistor RA is in series with resistor R1 and R2. So we're just going to use the voltage divider formula to calculate V Thevenin. So V Thevenin is going to be equal to Vs multiplied by Ra over the total resistance of the circuit, which is R1 plus R2 plus Ra. That works out to be 2.77 volts. Right, in step two, we're going to calculate Thevenin's equivalent resistance. And to do this, we need to begin by replacing the power supply with a short circuit. So now that we've shorted the power supply, 
we're going to simplify the circuit. So the first thing we can do is we can add resistors R1 and R2 as they're in series. So RA equals 3 kilo ohms. So now I'm going to rub out R1 and R2 and replace it with a 3 kilo ohm resistor. Next, we can see that R3 and R4 are in series, and that can be simplified down to one resistor, so we'll call that RB. So now we're going to, we can see that resistor R3 and R4 are in series, so that can be, they can be added together and simplified down to one resistor, so we'll call that resistor RB. So now I'm going to rub out resistor R3 and R4 and replace it with resistor RB with a value of 2.4 kilo ohms. So now that we, we can see that resistor RA RB and R5 are in parallel and that parallel combination is in series with R6 so this will give us Thevenin's equivalent resistance. And that gives a uh, Thevenin's resistance of 5,739 ohms. So now we've calculated Thevenin's equivalent voltage and Thevenin's equivalent resistance. So we can now redraw the circuit. And that's the end of this tutorial on Tevin's theorem.